Good vibes only here today, because we got a new month and a new paradigm. Oh, it's like getting carrot cake on your birthday. So, paradigm four, we got week one. Mm -hmm. It is, I am responsible for the choices I make, as well as the reactions I have to external circumstances. Let me say that again. I am responsible for the choices I make, as well as the reactions I have to external circumstances. This is very important. <laughs> as a recovering perfectionist, type A, intense as hell person, I have really struggled with this. I have a confession that I still struggle with this from time to time. So, responsible for the choices I make. Super got that down. Crush it. You know, it's important. Take responsibility for the choices you make. If you're wanting to lose weight, okay. You need to make sure you need to make the choice of getting your water in, getting your breath in, getting your sleep in. Okay? If you are wanting to find love, then you need to... Be open to experiencing new things, loving yourself hard, and taking acts of authenticity and vulnerability. Okay? There's choices we make. If you have a meeting at 7 o'clock in the morning and you want to go out and get drunk the night before, that's a choice. You need to take responsibility for that, right? But... That concept and that application is the easy one of the two. The one that we really, really get to focus on this week, this month, is the reaction you have to the external circumstances. This is super, super hard. It's a difficult task, but it's really, really important, and it's why it's a paradigm for myself and my clients to abide by. There are so many times in life where we make meaning of something that has nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us. Yet we, we hear it, we believe it, and we make it an agreement within ourselves, and then we allow it to inhibit us from living life to our truest, most honorable uh, way of life. And so examples of this can be really simple, right? A simple way of reacting to an external circumstance can be like yesterday morning when I woke up and I'm on a loaner car and I didn't have a snow scraper. But here in Chicago, it like had an ice storm overnight. So I got to be really patient after using my arm to get the snow off and sit in my car and instead of being pissed off, which then would have led to probably an awful afternoon and awful evening, I laughed, put my favorite song on in my earbud, and I did admin work. And I just looked at my calendar and I made sure that I had my shit together for the next four days. Um, a more intense example of how we need to uh, become aware of our external, our reaction to an external circumstance is say we are really, really excited about sharing something with our partner at the end of a day and, you know, they're in the living room and watching their show or whatever people do uh, at the end of the day. And we just are so excited. We go enthusiastic and they tell us to shut up. They don't want to hear it. When someone tells us that, A, that's really rude, but B, we make meaning of it and allow it to impact us in a greater way. Certain thoughts like, he doesn't, or yeah, no, he or she doesn't love me. Or I have a bad voice, no one would ever want to hear what I have to say. Or, um, I'm not worthy of even being heard. That's wrong. Absolutely wrong. So instead of making that, that not-so-hot choice of those examples I just listed, we get to take a step back and we just get to take a breath and just say, you know, 
maybe some other time because I'd really like to share it with you. And we get to do that with the belief and that that gut feeling of knowing that the way that person was reacting is a direct relation or a direct correlation of what's going on inside of them. It's not a reflection of you. It's what's going on inside of them. And that there is nothing that you can do that's going to make it better or worse. You must not take anything personal in your day-to-day -day life because when you take things personal, you're allowing others to define your um, level in which you get to A, live, and your, your plethora of what you're able to experience. And that's bullshit. You're the only one that should be able to um, impact that. Okay. So that's, those are my examples right now. I'm sure I'll come up with better ones as the month goes on because um, external circumstances is one of those things that I'm, I have to practice on a regular basis. Uh, whether you, you know, want to assume it as an, as an egotistical problem or a, a, a lonely and want to have more responsibility problem. Like, it's just hard when you are doing everything you can that you know to be right and that other things in life, whether it's the source or your spouse or people at work or your siblings that come and like fucking rain on your parade, it doesn't have to be that way. The choice is on you to change that experience, to change that reality, to make different agreements with yourself. I can hardly wait.